Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video just to let you guys know I'm still alive. Uh, I've got a lot of footage from what happened here in New Jersey on the hurricane. I pretty much filmed the whole ordeal and I just got my power on yesterday. Um, I did well. I mean, I, I honest to God, thank, this is why I'm so thankful that I do the preparedness that I do. And, it helped, and as usual, um, during a long um, spell of no power, I learn things and I also uh, know where my strengths and weaknesses are. And uh, I'm going to make, you know, every effort to better uh, my preparedness and readiness. Uh, that being said, uh, my whole area was devastated. Uh, I, I filmed some during the storm, but because it was night, I don't know how, I haven't even watched any of it. Uh, I can tell you firsthand that I, I was honestly, uh, nervous. Um, I was pretty, I was glad that my wife was elsewhere, uh, cause it got pretty bad, at least at my particular house, uh. At one point, the floor started to vibrate, and I have a stucco house. So the only way that the floor could have vibrated is if the roof was most likely about to be blown off, because uh, the the vibration was being carried through the joists to the floor. It's the only explanation I can come up with. Uh, it was crazy, but thank God uh, none of the main trees in my near my house went down. Uh, the worst I suffered was a power cable um, coming loose off my house. And that was pretty much it. Uh, other neighbors weren't so lucky. And either which way you drove on my street, I would not have been able to get out if it wasn't for some crazy locals that ran out with their... Um, chainsaws and not worrying about any power at all just started cutting paths out of the uh out of the way and that came up with an idea because i do not have except i have saws but i don't have a chainsaw so that's going to be something that's going to definitely go into my prepping I, I that was one of the things i learned um even though they were there to do it but I don't rely on someone else, you know, you, uh, preparedness is self-reliance. It's to make sure that you are prepared, just in case that person doesn't show up with a chainsaw, I would have one if I had to get out of Dodge, or you never, th I never thought of that, you know, and especially on a bug out situation, it, you better have a chainsaw, because you have no idea um, what might be in your path. The only problem with that is everybody within a couple mile radius is going to be hearing you cutting your your way through the tree. But I don't know. It's just a thought. I got to sit down and assess a lot of what, what happened. And then we have the election. Um, one thing a professor history professor I heard say freedom is not a universal value so people uh, either choose freedom or they don't and you have a lot of people that voted for the other party um, you just gave your vote to Obama I don't care how much that makes you feel better uh, in the end you gave your vote to Obama so if you can live with that, uh, like I said, I think a lot of the people that did that, they're hoping for the uh, deconstruction of this country. They, I think they, they believe that they're going to be able to restructure um, the government if it collapses themselves. I don't really know where they're coming from. When we're surrounded by people that are waiting for us to be weak enough to come in and take over. They're not going to allow the United States to regain its strength if we falter to the point where we can't effectively protect ourselves. And at this point, 
we can't even protect ourselves uh, from both sides of each ocean at this point. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. Uh, definitely my political side on the channel is going to die down. I'm going to focus obviously on preparedness. And that's really all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put up my trust in God and Jesus. Uh, I'm going to keep doing the things I do along with ministry. And I'm going to focus on work and getting better at my job. And I'm going to solely focus on prepping. In fact, this year is going to be probably the most... Uh, preparedness driven year of my life I, I've always had the preparedness mindset I've always been building and making it a way of life uh, this next year it's going to be very um, focused it's going to be a predominant side um, <clears throat> a lot of people say uh, you know don't live to prep prep to live well this year it's going to be a live to prep um, uh, and I believe in that, you know, live, live to prep. I mean, prep to live, not live to prep. I, I, I totally agree with that. But this year, there's a certain sense of urgency based on what's happened in our elections, based on our economy. Um, I, I've, I've come a long way. I mean, I, I'm, I've got considerable. I can handle myself for a long period of time, especially I was able to do it without power. It would have been a lot easier if I didn't have to go to work, and that's what stinks. It's much better to just survive than having to have to get up, go to work, and perform um, while everything else is that much harder when you have no power. You wouldn't have to worry about that if everything collapsed. You'd just worry about your own little sphere around your home and your area. I learned that I have good neighbors that are uh, willing to work together. And I've also eyed a few that I'd have to be weary of. But that's, you know, part of that preparedness mindset. You look at things a lot differently. So that's it. I'm alive. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of videos on Hurricane Sandy. Uh, it's going to take me a while. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing at least a week or two before they start popping up. And whether it's relevant or not. I mean, I'm sure people, oh, that's too late. I'm all sandied out. That's fine. I'm not making these videos for anybody um, in particular. Just whoever would want to watch them. And you're going to see a perspective of what I went through personally. And that's really what the videos are going to be about. And my thoughts and what I've learned. And uh, I got heavy use of that portable shower system. And I'll give you my thoughts on that. And that's it. Uh, I definitely was, uh, I mean, I've been in a state of mourning for the country over what's happened. And I'll be taking down the uh, Tea Party vid video that I did for the Morristown Tea Party. Well, they asked me to anyway, so. But uh, that's it. I mean, for the most part, I, I don't see myself doing many political videos because there's no point. Uh, half our country wants to live in tyranny and captivity. The other half doesn't. And then there's a section who just doesn't care. The three million conservatives who just didn't even go out to vote, those are the people that don't care. And the problem is, if you don't care, uh, things are still going to happen. Life and the, the, and the circumstances that are brought upon you from your inaction will still affect you. So it's, it's the old ostrich in the sand where you put your head in the, the sand while your body's still visible by oncoming threats. Uh, your apathy isn't going to save you. Um, but now, at this point, it's really too late. Obamacare is going to roll in and put controls over the American people that has never been seen before. Um, free market businesses are going to cut back and more people might be forced to go on to the government um, system. And once you get those handouts, that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, God is still in control and God is still on the throne. So that's the one thing that I hold on to. 
because even if this country falls apart, that's the only thing that I'm going to have. Um, and it's a good thing to have because it's kept me centered and kept me back on track when I would fall off track. You know, there'd be times I'd fall off, but I, there's always, there's always that true north, which to me is God and Jesus Christ. And I'm very thankful for it. And it keeps me centered and strong and keeps me, get, gets me back on the uh, horse. Or I guess in Jesus' case, the donkey. <laughs> Um, that's it guys. I hope you're all well and and that's pretty much it. There'll be more updates. Uh I never you know, eventually we're gonna start doing things that get out safe more often and hopefully we can get I am one ugly guy out and uh and Brooklyn Prepper out again and we're gonna try to get some of the other preppers like I'm hoping to have Southern Prepper and uh maybe even uh Engineer seven seven five and just try to get meetups and some more tutorials for this area, and we're going to need it. Uh, you guys who haven't begun prepping, you better begin. Because as you saw through the storm, when, it, when all hell breaks loose, for the most part, you only have yourself to rely on. And if you think the government's going to come and save you. And especially, I mean, this is just a storm. The difference between this storm is in, in a real situation where it doesn't look like anything's going to come back to normal. At least after a storm, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Eventually, you could still go to the stores. You could still maneuver. I was still, still able to go to work within hours after the storm. Um, if we're faced with a situation, which I believe is coming with no light at the end of the tunnel. There's nobody that's going to be coming to save you. No one. The only person that's going to save you is yourself. Alright guys, God bless and let God do the rest.